How's it going guys? Alex here from Go Grind Soccer. In this video, I want to show you guys five simple ball mastery drills you guys can perform either at the field or at home to improve your technique and your close control. These exercises are excellent for developing your handling of the ball, how you manipulate the ball, and if you can keep your head up while doing these, it will heavily benefit you and your ball mastery since you're working on being able to practice those good habits of maintaining control of the ball even when you have your head up. In the professional world, many professional players are able to maintain possession of the ball and maintain control of the ball even if they're not looking down on the ball. So it's very important that you really work on these techniques and work on these ball mastery drills without looking at the ball too much. For the first few reps, you can definitely look down at the ball, definitely get a feel of the ball and the rhythm. But as you progress, make sure you start to look up and incorporate some awareness or some uh, cognitive elements to challenge you further. All right, guys, without further ado, here are the five exercises. I hope you guys enjoy the video and see you at the end. All right, guys, so for the first drill, you're gonna be performing revolutions with a switch. So pretty much you're just performing like two circles around the cone. And then once you perform two circles, you're gonna tap the ball with the inside of that opposite foot back to that starting foot. And then you're gonna go into the opposite direction. Repeat this drill for three sets of 45 seconds. You can go longer if desired. The next drill is the V-drag to pull croquetta. You're going to start off by performing a V-drag onto one side of the cone and then you're going to pull the ball back with that same foot, tap it with the inside of that foot and then drag it onto the inside of your opposite foot and then repeat on the other side. You're going to repeat this on both sides for 3 sets of 45 seconds. The next drill is the V-drag to pull in, which is very similar to the last one, except we're eliminating the factor of the croquetta. So you're gonna perform a V-drag and then pull the ball back into the inside of your opposite foot and then repeat. You can repeat this for three sets of 45 seconds. Make sure you do both sides. Next drill is the pull out into croquetta. To start off this drill, you're gonna start on one side of the cone, pull the ball back with the foot closest to one of these two cones, drag the ball with the outside to the middle of the two cones, and then lightly tap it with the inside of that same foot to the inside of the opposite foot to perform a croquetta movement. Then repeat on the other side. You're gonna perform this drill for three sets of 45 seconds. And the final drill is to pull out into roll. So very similar to the last drill, except this time we are performing a rollover. So again, you're gonna pull the ball back with the foot closest to the cone, drag it to the middle of the two cones with the outside of that foot, lightly tap it with the inside of that foot to the sole of your opposite foot, so you can roll the ball across and then repeat on the other side. You're gonna perform this drill for three sets of 45 seconds. All right, guys, those were the five drills I wanted to show you guys. They're excellent drills to manipulate the ball. They're excellent drills to keep control of the ball. And they're excellent drills to do literally anywhere. You can perform this in a one by one yard of space, which I've been doing for the past few days since it's been very cold here in Revere, Massachusetts. But I highly recommend you guys at least get your touches in if you're not able to get to the field. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. It helped the channel grow and peace.